Hey there, Matt Gomez from Acro Media, and today I'm going to chat about uh, an architecture type that I get asked about a lot, which is headless commerce. You know, what is headless commerce? How does it work? How would it apply to us? So you've probably heard the term. It's all the rage right now uh, for good reason. Um, it's the way that most sites are being built, uh, either in a headless or a decoupled manner. Uh, decoupled, I'll come to you later. And uh, effectively, what a what a headless commerce um, architecture looks like is that typically with e-commerce sites, if you think about something like... Um, you know, a, a Shopify or a big commerce, a basic all-encompassing e-commerce platform. When you're setting up a site like that, you're putting in your products, you're putting in all of your, you know, tax information, accounting information, all of those sort of pieces. And then you put in your content into that platform as well. It's all housed within that one single platform. In a headless commerce pomp setup, what you're doing is you're actually separating out the front end. So the way that the content is served up uh, and normally edited on your end um, for your customers is not inside your e-commerce platform. It's a separate thing. So you're separating your front end and your back end. So why does that make sense to do? Well, e-commerce is exceptionally complicated. Uh, the e-commerce platforms that are out there, and there's lots of them, um, are frankly great and marvelous and do really complicated things but one thing they don't do that great is is give you tons of customizable pieces on the front end for for editing your content displaying content and workflows to users um, and really just jazzing up your website so they're really strong on the core e-commerce functions and they will have slightly different value props of what they're really good at um, but where they typically universally fall down is that they're not super rich on front end content and they're not meant to be. They're focused on the content side, of, on the commerce side of things. So by doing a headless setup, you're effectively using other platforms to serve up that content on the front end and it can give you really um, really rich experiences for your customers. So rather than just being able to customize a, you know, a basic kind of page template and a product page and some categories, you can do all sorts of things. So on a B2B, oh, sorry, on a, B2B, on a B2C point of view, um, if if you're just an online retailer, unless you've got really strong content requirements, uh, you don't necessarily need a, a headless setup. When you're talking B2B though, um, you know, typically commerce isn't the the main function of your of your site. Um, commerce is a portion that you have, but you have a ton of other tools, uh, um, content. Um, customer service functions that happen through through your through your site, through your platform. So headless setups are really helpful because you can do all of those other pieces really effectively um, without having to, to run them through your e-commerce system. So uh, in short, a headless setup is basically decoupling or separating out the front end and the back end. Um, uh, there's a few different ways to do that. And uh, yeah, it's the way that most sites are going now. It's... Uh, faster, safer, um, and much more customizable for, for companies to be able to, to sell their products online. Um, but it does take a little bit of a, a shift in mentality and a little bit of help. So if you'd like to discuss that anymore, give me and my team a shout. Um, hope that clears up headless commerce a little bit. Have a great day.